In this video, we're going to talk about how to find the equation of a plane using a point and a vector that's perpendicular to the plane. In fact, those are the two things that we need in order to define a plane. But let's start with a picture. So here we have a 3D coordinate system. This is going to be X, Y, and Z. And let's draw a plane somewhere in this region. Now that's going to be the point P0. And we're going to have a vector that is perpendicular to that point. We're going to call that N. And we're going to have a position vector that starts from the origin going to uh, P0. So we're going to call this R sub 0. And we're going to have another point on this plane, which we'll call P. And so we're going to have a position vector that points towards that as well, which will be R. Now going from P0 to P, this is going to be another vector which we'll call R minus R0. R minus R0, that's going to be equal to this vector, which goes from P0 to P. Now keep in mind, N is perpendicular to that vector. Because it's perpendicular to it, the dot product between the normal vector and the vector r minus r0, that's going to equal 0 because those two vectors are orthogonal to each other. Now the vector n, the normal vector, will be represented by uh, these values, a comma b comma c. r is going to equal x, y, z, which is based on point p and R0 is based on P0, which will have the points, I mean, the values X0, Y0, Z0. Now, let's take these values and plug it into that formula. So N is going to be A comma B comma C. And then R minus R0, I'm going to run out of space, so... Let me put this somewhere else. So here's n, and then we have the dot product of that with r minus r0. So this is going to be x minus x0, and then comma y minus y0, and then comma z minus z0. So using the dot product formula, we're going to have a times x minus x0, and then b plus b times y minus y0, and then plus c times z minus z0. So all of this is going to equal 0. And this is the formula that we're going to use that's going to help us to get the equation of the plane given a point on a plane and the normal vector. So A, B, and C, that's 3, 6, and 5. X, 0 is 2. Y, 0 is negative 5. Z, 0 is 3. So we just got to plug that in into that formula. So let's replace A with 3, X, 0 with 2. And then B is 6. And then we're going to replace Y, 0 with negative 5. And then C is 5 and z0 is 3. So now we need to distribute. This is going to be 3x minus 6. This becomes y plus 5 times 6. That's going to be 6y plus 30, and then plus 5z minus 15, which equals 0. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to combine like terms. So 30 minus 15 that's 15. 15 plus negative 6 is 9. So we have 3x plus 6y plus 5z and then plus 9. I'm going to take the 9 and move it to the other side. So we have 3x plus 6y plus 5z and that's equal to negative 9. So this is the equation of the plane that contains the point 2, negative 5, 3, 
and it's perpendicular to the vector 3 comma 6 comma 5. So that's how you could find it. But now let's work on another example. For the sake of practice, go ahead and try this problem. By the way, for those of you who are watching this video and if you haven't subscribed to this channel, feel free to go ahead and do that now. And if you want to receive notification on videos that I'm going to be uploading in the future, don't forget to hit that notification bell. So let's begin. Let's begin by identifying the values. So we have our normal vector, which means that a is 2, b is negative 7, c is 5. And then we have the point that is on a plane. So x0 is 3, y0 is 7, z0 is negative 2. So let's write the formula that we're going to use. So it's a times x minus x0, and then plus b times y minus y0 plus c times z minus z0. Now all we need to do is plug in the values that we have. So a is 2, x0 is 3, b is negative 7, y0 is 7, c is 5, z0 is negative 2. So this becomes z plus 2. So we're going to have 2x minus 6 minus 7y plus 49 and then plus 5z plus 10. So now combining like terms, this is going to be 49 plus 10, that's 59, minus 6, which is 53. Now, our last step is to move the negative 53 to the other side. So the final answer is 2x minus 7y plus 5z, which equals 53. So that is the equation of the plane, which is in this form, ax plus by plus cz, which equals d. So that's the linear equation form of the plane.